Quora Answer Marketing. What follows is a step-by-step -step guide to marketing on Quora. I've already described what Quora is and how it works in the overview section. If you need a refresher, check video three once again to get a clear understanding of what Quora is, how it works, as well as its advantages and disadvantages. In this video, I'm gonna step you through the process of how to promote on Quora. Step number one, use your niche keywords to get questions regarding your niche. At this point, you should have a long list of keywords. These are keywords that are directly related to the products that you have selected. Enter these keywords into Quora's search box. You should be able to retrieve at least some questions related to your niche. Step number two, filter questions based on how they fit your level one materials. At this point, you should also have your three layer content system set up. The first layer is a blog post that informs the reader regarding the problems that they have and the range of solutions, as well as a common sense guide on what to do and what not to do. The layer two material that you produce must talk about a particular category of solutions and why they're better than other solutions out there. The layer three that you produce uses a comparison of the different products that you have found through ClickBank. I hope that much is clear. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and do that. The key here is that your content must answer key questions that your audience members would have in mind when looking for solutions. Also, your content must answer those questions. In step two of Quora Answer Marketing, you have to filter all the questions that you have found on Quora in terms of how well they fit your level one material. If there are not enough questions that directly fit, you might want to hire a virtual assistant to create questions for you. Of course, they're going to have to use many accounts. They need to switch among different accounts to make it look legit. Regardless, you need to populate Quora with questions that are directly related to your niche and which are directly answered by your layer one or layer two materials. Step number three, answer 10 to 15 questions before answering your first niche related question. If you're going to be using your main account on Quora to answer questions, you have to be very careful. You can't just answer all questions that are directly related to your niche and forget about everything else. If anybody wanted to ban you, they just need to look at your answers and they would see a clear pattern. It's obvious that you were just answering only a certain type of question and dropping your link all over the place. That's a dead giveaway. Don't do that. Instead, answer 10 to 15 questions across a wide range of topics before answering a question that is directly related to your niche. Step number four, answer your niche related questions this way. Throughout my years of marketing on Quora, I've noticed certain patterns that grabbed more eyeballs and produced more results. Your answers should fit the following pattern. First, you need to answer the question directly. Read the question several times. What are they asking? What are they not asking? Are there any limits to the answers that they're looking for? Next, quote materials from your resource. If you're going to be dropping a link to your layer one content, quote a block of text from that content and explain why it is relevant. In other words, you have a specific answer to the question and then you quote from your source, which is your layer one content, and then there has to be a paragraph explaining why that content is relevant or makes sense in this context. After you've done that, you include a link to your layer one or layer two content and claim that this is your source. If you do this right, you're not going to get banned. Also, if you do this right, people who read your answer are more likely to click through. Step number five, answer 10 to 15 questions before answering your next niche related question. This is a big deal. You can't just answer only questions related to your niche. You're going to be too obvious when you do that. I suggest that you answer 10 to 15 other unrelated questions in a wide range of unrelated niches. When you answer these questions, drop links randomly. This is curated content that answers their questions and are extremely helpful. These links are not related to your niche. When you do this, you build authority. You begin to look like a legitimate and bona fide member of the Quora community. Step number six. Drop your target link 15% of the time and do not copy and paste. It's really important to establish a healthy ratio of linked posts on Quora. As I keep repeating, when administrators check your account, they must not see a clear pattern. You must throw them off. Your account must look legit. Your account must look like the account of somebody who truly likes helping people by answering their questions. How do you do this? Only 15% of your total posts link to your own pages. The rest link to other third-party content or do not have links at all. Also, none of your posts are simple copies and pastes of each other. You're not just using some template over and over again. If you are able to do this and you are able to maintain a 15% ratio, you probably will not get banned for spamming. I can't guarantee anything, but the chances of you getting banned are going to be lower than people who just drop a link every time they post.